I've been asked a lot of questions lately about growing fruit trees in aquaponics. Now I just want to start off by showing you this beautiful fig tree. It's a brown turkey fig tree and we're growing it in a wicking bed as you can see. And I just want to show you some of the fruit. Have a look at this. This is one that's been attacked by birds. We're already losing some by the birds which is really annoying. But we've got some that's really nice and ready to pick. Look at this fella for example. Beautiful, look at that. Ready to go, beautiful fig, look at it. Probably could be a couple more days older yet to really sweeten up a lot more, but absolutely gorgeous. Now, why would we be planting this outside in a wicking bed? Because people ask the question about planting trees in our aquaponic system. And you know, it's a good question. But the reason we've moved these bigger trees outside and put them in wicking beds is because we don't want to take up all the valuable real estate in our aquaponics greenhouse. Because you know, your greenhouse space is quite limited really and you don't want to have great big trees in there that are taking up the space and uh, you're not able to grow your other smaller, um, more profitable veggies, you know, more concentrated veggie growing. So that's why we've moved them outside. And for the same reason too, I don't plant um, things like zucchinis anymore in my greenhouse because they just take up too much darn room actually. But anyway, that's not the whole story with trees. Down further here we've got some citrus and we're about to plant them in a new hugel bed which is a permaculture solution to uh, growing plants, um, bigger plants in an outdoor scenario. But look, come with me and I'll show you the trees we have got growing right now in our aquaponics greenhouse. So come with me. Actually, this is pretty darn good. It actually is sweet enough already. Mm. Well, here we are in our greenhouse. We're walking through the uh, jungle of our taro to get to where we're going. But I want to show you our beautiful, look at them, these beautiful new crop of wonderful papaya or pawpaw trees as we call them here in Australia. Now these are growing from our own seed. We've saved the seed from last year and we decided we'd try and propagate our own instead of going off and buying seedlings. And we're having some really good success. Look at this beautiful fruit. These are going to be red pawpaws. They're very small at the moment. They're coming on but you can see it's going to be really, really good. And look at this tree here behind me. This guy is really, really going gangbusters. And uh, all from the same batch of seed by the way which is just quite amazing. But Look at the fruit that's coming on here. We're going to have a real bonanza with this lot and all the flowers that are coming through, really good. And you can see these are growing in our gravel be media bed. Um, this is in our homestead kit. This is our oldest system that's been now running for nearly 12 years. Um, still the same old beds, not the same old gravel though. We've changed it a few times, but have a look at that. And look behind me here, there's another tree. I don't think you can quite see that with the camera. This fellow here, see that guy? Look, it's much taller. I find it really interesting out of the same batch of seeds how we're getting such a variety of trees and the way they grow, their growth rate is entirely different. But there you go, those are going to be the long red style ones, that's really good. And over on this side over here, look we've got this tree which is shooting right up. It's only just starting to show flowers now and some small fruit, but we're going to get a lot out of that. And this little guy, he's having a bit of trouble making his way up, but in about three or four months time we're going to have so many of these wonderful beautiful papaya to eat, beautiful red papaya. And I can tell you the best way to eat it is with just a squeeze of lemon over it. Absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. Trees grown in aquaponics and also grown outside when they're too big to have inside. 